What's up guys, it's Jonathan with One Big Impact. I just wanted to show you a little, I don't know if it's ready yet. Is it ready yet? I think it's ready. A little tip, okay? When you get your protein shakes, whether it's Atkins, you can do Quest, um, you can do whatever. All you have to do is lightly freeze it, okay? And then cut the top off. I'm gonna go through this literally away from like everything that is going to get dirty. <laughs> Just in case, I don't wanna get anything dirty. I literally thought this was gonna be a much better knife. not being a good knife for this, like at all. That is not a good knife either for this. What is going on here? Jeez. Ah, so I got it a little bit done. Now I'm gonna do it with scissors. Whack! This is the worst video ever. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Oh my gosh. It's all over me. And it's not working. <laughs> this is pissing me off. There we go. I'm going back over here. I don't have a serrated knife handy at the moment, and that's part of the problem. So like, either freeze it a little bit longer, use a razor knife, but by all means, be careful and don't cut your damn self. That's why I'm not going crazy on it, because I know every time you do go crazy on it, Something that you're trying to cut, you end up cutting yourself. Ain't nobody got time for that, damn it. So, <laughs> what I'm trying to show you five hours later, as I still got crap dripping down my chin. I didn't quite freeze mine enough. Could have went a little bit longer. A couple hours, but it's still good. Oh my gosh, that's mad creamy. That's really good. That's blueberries, by the way. So basically, you're just making like, if you have a sweet tooth, a little, um, ice cream. This is the first time I've done it with the Quest one. I picked these up today. Uh, I drank one earlier that was warm. It was okay. And then now, I would say skip the blueberries. They're not very good. Then again, I'm just not a blueberry person, so that might be why. They're all my meal plan, so. The new Quest version has 30 grams of protein. That's why I'm like digging it. Um, that's really high. Most of the Atkins ones are like, I don't remember to be honest, but I think they're like 10 or 15. My weakness is literally ice cream. If I get off track, that's what does it. I'm sure everybody has their thing that screws with them, you know what I mean? 
some people are like wine. Soda. I have to say that is bomb. And actually, I like it better with like half drinking, half frozen. You're not like fighting for it. Thirty grams of protein, three net carbs, three net carbs. Yeah, three carbs, one gram of sugar, one hundred and sixty calories. I hear people talking about like Halo Top and all that, and here's the thing: if you're super high on carbs, Halo Top might be okay for you, but. They do have like a keto version of Halo Top that they came out with, and it's got a crazy taste to it. It's kind of like powdery. It's not bad. Um, it does not necessarily taste just like um, ice cream. But the thing is, what people don't realize when you take those options, you are um, really kind of slippery sloping the net carbohydrate now. So if it's like eight net carbs or something, it's usually per serving. So, and it's like four to six servings per thing, four times eight, 32 carbs. If you're in induction, even if you're not in induction, that's not technically low carb. You have to like get way lower carb than that. So the fact that I just had about the same quantity, even if you're like, I have an insatiable, crazy fit for ice cream right now. You could even go one step further with those and you could get two of them, which would be 320 calories, 60 grams of protein, six net carbs, uh, two grams of sugar, and you could even get like some, um, some uh, Hershey's chocolate sugar-free uh, morsels and melt them on a pan and after you got that, so, oh my gosh, I'm like literally thinking about this now. You can melt them on a pan, in a pan, and then after you got your ice cream, you could just pour it over the top, maybe with like some low carb walnuts or something like that. That's gonna put you in a lot better situation because not only is it making you plan for something, but it's also um, teaching you to work within your parameters. So. Uh, walnuts are actually a very healthy item as far as food is concerned. Um, they got all kinds of like vitamins and minerals and um, they really are a great super superfood. Um, but um, in addition to that, um, it makes you work within what works for you. You know what I mean? Instead of trying to find out how you can cheat outside of that. Because then you're using actual foods because there's never going to be a day where you're like incorporating, you would never healthfully, you know, macronutriently um, incorporate something like keto ice cream or something like that. But on occasion, if you can make something like that, that would be, you know, part of your regular meal plan or whatever, um, it would really, it would really help you. So I hope this information helped you. I just wanted to sh share what it tasted like. Um, because I'm doing three of those today. Not three of the frozen ones. I mean, I might. I'll probably do it again. I have one more left. And um, just as a comparison real quick with the uh, protein powder that I was using. Just to show you. And maybe in the future I'll try it with my protein powder. So I'm lactose intolerant, so I use whey protein isolate. Because it's got a significantly reduced amount of lactose in it. Um, 
for instance, the calories are 120. Um, so I'm actually gonna have to cut that off right there. I can't eat another one. I thought they were 150 in this. So there's that. I'll have to adjust that. Uh, carbohydrates two. So that was only one carbohydrate more. And uh, protein is 26. Sugars is one. So very, very close. Only 40 calories more on the other option. Um, maybe in the future I'll try to figure out if you can make a, uh, actually no, it's not 40 calories more because what I use for the other, for this is almond milk and that's 30 calories. So it's 10 calories more. And I think there's one carb in there. Let me check. So we might be like right on cue. Let's see. Almond milk. Yeah. One carb, one protein. So the only difference between that and my current protein is the little quest thing is like 10 calories more. So even if I wanted to match it, I could leave like a tablespoon in there and throw it out. And I've actually been working on that myself lately. Um, you know, kind of throwing out food before I finish it if I'm full. So that's a practice that I struggle with. You guys have a beautiful day. If there's a snack that you like or that you could incorporate or that you could show somebody or talk about in the description below, um, share a little tip with somebody so they can kind of, you know, get another idea. Have a good day. If you're new here, please check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for a Healthy Life. Be strong in the excuses. Remember to spread love, not hate. Drink your damn water. Speaking of which, slam this sucker right now. This is how long it takes to drink a whole bottle of water, okay? Two seconds, dude. And I made both of those in the garbage can. Just kidding. Have a good day, guys. Yes, I'm calm and docile. It's because I'm reading now. Shit.